welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a process video um, for my traveler's notebook. And um, yeah, so you may have seen this month I also posted a video uh, for my traveler's notebook. And um, if you would have seen that video, I'll just kind of explain just in case you didn't. But um, I have this traveler's notebook that was for my one little word for 2018 last year, which was health. Um, and just life got in the way and I kind of forgot about the book and the, the notebook. And, um, so a couple, like this summer, I kind of went through my older photos and, um, uh, printed a bunch out that I needed for this, uh, to finish off this notebook. And then I realized it was only like three, no, four more pages worth. So I was like, ah, that's simple. I need to finish this ASAP so that I can just like get it out of the way, have a project done in the books. Um, and so that's exactly what I'm doing here. My last video was sharing two, uh, pages, uh, that I did and now I'm doing two more here. And, um, so this actual picture here is from when we were in uh, Arizona and just doing like some hiking and stuff. Um, so yeah, this book basically was just photos and documenting and memory keeping of different times when I took care of myself, rather whether mentally or physically or whatever, um, just really taking care of my health. So that is what this is about. And also I'm using um, Paige Evans pick me up collection mostly, and then some other Paige Evans, uh, things. So that was kind of the other goal too, was to, um, use up a lot of that stuff because it's so pretty and I want to, yeah, just like get it used, get it documented and, um, use the products that I love. So there's a lot of ephemera left, a few stickers and a few chipboard. Um, so I don't have a lot to work with, but I kind of I kind of like it that way, where I can just use up what I have. And um, I just recently got some um, new Paige Evans products from um, a pen pal. So I think hopefully this video is going up in September, but uh, it's August right now when I'm doing this voiceover. And um, yeah, what my idea is for my October. Um, wild hair kit is to get like a petite kit and then use some of the um, Paige Evans stuff that I got from um, a swap that I did and kind of put the two together instead of, cause I usually get a deluxe kit. So it comes with a lot more product cause it's more expensive. Um, but I'm getting a petite kit for October. So I'm thinking of pulling some things from my stash and then making a really full complete kit. And I think that will be fun. So that's my idea. Um, so here's my other page. Sorry, I'm not talking too much about um, the spreads, but I'm not a traveler's notebook expert. This is just, this is just a, I don't know, just a different format for me. And I'm really, I really love it. I just can't see myself doing this on a daily basis. Um, I really love the format of having like a full layout to work with a flat layout. When this book gets full, it gets hard to work with all that kind of stuff. So I definitely prefer the scrapbook kind of format. Um, but this was, this was fun, fun as well to just do something new and, and use up my things and get things documented and all that. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying my videos this month. Um, I know August was a little bit slow for videos, um, just cause I was doing a big craft room clean out. And so any of my crafty time was kind of dedicated to that. And I probably spent about 10 or 12 hours actually cleaning my craft room and, uh, decluttering and organizing. And, um, yeah, so it was a lot of extra time that I was spending on that, but I, it's almost like an investment because I was investing in the, because, you know, when you're, well, for me, this is for me. Um, it's, I find it harder to be in a messy, chaotic space if I want to create well and create often. So it's kind of investing into the fall months to have a clean craft room so that I have lots of time and motivation and energy to create. And I'm not worrying about this chaos mess around me. And to this day, it's still clean. It's been like, let me think, maybe like three weeks now from when I'm recording this. 
and it's still clean. So that's great. And I think it's going to stay that way because I kind of have a good system going. I don't have too much stuff or clutter. I'm trying not to do um, too many swaps right now because um, that's kind of what makes it more cluttered is all the stuff that comes in. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm not talking about the <laughs> spread. I hope my rambling is okay. I apologize. But um, what I'm doing here is I'm doing my journaling around um, as a border um, and did lots of layering and just sticking and plunking things down because that's fun. And I just have all these stickers and ephemera that I just, like I said, I really want to use up. So it was just fun to just be able to put anything anywhere I wanted to and, um, not have to worry about, um, like hoarding things, trying not to do that. As we all know, we're all trying not to do that. Um, and yes, I'm just finishing up here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as always, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Um, I would love to know. Give me new ideas if you'd like. Um, if you want a craft room tour, let me know. Um, yeah, just doing some paint splatters here and that basically finishes it up. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you're feeling inspired and have a wonderful day. Bye.